sort of chances of uh, rally that we saw overseas or are we likely to pretty much underperform the rest of uh, the globe there? Well, we are expecting to see a positive day on the Australian market. Spanish yeah. and Italian bond yields did fall, and that should help the banking space. So expecting the big four banks to help the Australian market higher today. We also saw BHP and Rio Tinto gaining in both London as well as the US. So we should see our big miners helping our market higher. And, of course, lots of news out this morning. We've seen 10 coming out with its result. The result actually softer than our expectations. We were expecting to see an interim result of $22.3 million. Instead, it's come in below. 15 million dollars so expecting some downward pressure on 10 shares we've also seen Aluka coming out with its production report and we've seen production for the quarter down by about 13 percent there so we could see some softness in that share price and of course the job numbers at 11 30 a.m. so especially the currency we'll be watching that one benchmark ASX 200 index we're expected to see a couple next week um, what will it mean for for the weighting of the index We'll be watching three stocks in the coming week, and that's uh, Senex Energy, Troy Resources, as well as Deckmill. All three of these companies will be added to the benchmark ASX 200 index. And usually when you do see companies added to the index, it means good news in terms of research coverage and also demand for the stocks. If we have a look at what's happening in terms of the ASX 200 uh, to uh, provoke these changes, it's the uh, merger and acquisition activity that we've seen on the Australian market. We'll be see seeing Oster coming out of the index as well as uh, Aston Resources and Charter Hall Office uh, REIT as well. So those three stocks will be coming out of the index and replaced by three others. We have a look at these three stocks. Senex Energy, especially in the year to date, has been doing well. We're, we're only in the fourth month of the year, but this stock is up by 72% in the year to date so far. Now, this is an oil and gas company with assets in the Cooper Basin, um, and it's been doing very well. Troy Resources is a gold company. It's got projects in Australia as well as South America. Its stock price hasn't been uh, doing too uh, badly this year, but only up by 3% in comparison. And Deckmill, a mining services company, its shares, has been, its shares have been performing well, up by about 17%. So we will see Senex Energy coming uh, onto the ASX 200 on the 16th of April, and the other two companies should be added on, as of the close of the 19th of April. Up 2.4% almost at this point. They've come out with quarterly production numbers today. What's your outlook on the stock? How have these numbers altered it at all? If we have a look at first quarter production, we've actually seen copper production up by about 4.6%, so a good result there, and they've managed a C1 cash cost of 92 cents per pound. The Panos is a stock that has been underperforming in 2012. Its stock price actually down by 7%, um, that's compared to gold prices, which are up by 6%, and copper prices, which are up by 7% this year. But if we have a look at Panos, this is also a company that's undergoing transformation. By uh, the next financial year, you will probably see about one-third of its revenue coming from outside of copper and that's from gold as well as silver it's got a gold silver a project in Laos coming online this year and that should add 100,000 uh, ounces of gold production uh, to its production yearly production and 700,000 ounces of silver so we've seen a good copper result coming out today it looks like a uh, panel shares doing well despite copper prices are uh, moving down overnight so copper prices did ease by about 0.3 percent a good quality production report but uh, in the coming year we'll we will see gold and silver production being added uh, to revenue.